originally in, in the beginning, Backfire was supposed to be, well, bringing a small community community to get together. We just started a night and said, put out a couple of little ads out saying, it's meat and read magazines and watch movies and about old cafe racers and vintage motorcycles. You know, we only thought 30 people would show up. And then it turned into, I don't know, the first time we, we put out the ad, like 60 to 100 people showed up, like, really? And so we like did it every month. We just didn't quit. You know, uh, up to that point, uh, in our opinions, it had been very, uh, the motorcycle scene had neglected, in our opinion, the cafe racer and the rat bike. You know, there's a lot of glory on like, uh, cruisers and Harleys and uh, sport bikes and stuff that are just, they're fine and everything, but it wasn't what we were into. And uh, people were hungry for a kind of alternative bike night, appealed to a lot of people and who weren't happy with like, I don't know, want to say cruiser nights or whatever, which, you know, had had their uh, their time in the spotlight, I think. So, uh, and those guys show up here too now, which is fine. And everybody kind of celebrates creativeness with your bike and what you ride and, you know, people, express themselves by what they ride, you know, and it be like, you know, in the way it's an art form in itself. My thing is more like, I just love how bikes look and that they're like a functional art piece and we all kind of, I mean, it's cliche, but we all have like this bond. I was actually, uh, I rode this bike and I got a dual sport 650. The boy and I both rode down to ride motorsports in Woodenville to buy some parts for our dirt bikes. And uh, the guys took a liking to this one. They said, hey, you ever hear about Backfire? No. I mean, this has only been on the road for six weeks. They go, oh, you gotta go check it out. Very, very pleased. Uh, like what I see and I'll definitely be back for sure. Yeah.